Hi, Gritex, how are you? Today we are going to learn a new method to represent our data in, which is the pie chart. What is the pie chart? Actually, the pie chart is a special chart that uses pie slices to show relative sizes of data. In another way, it's to it's another way to represent data like the previous method, the tally chart, the pictogram, and the bar chart that we learned in our previous session. In this type of of uh, uh, representing data, the data will be divided into segments. Each segment is going to be a sector, where the angle of the sector is can be found by the following equation, angle of the sector divided by 360. So the data is proportional to the sector area or the angle of the sector is proportional to the area of the sector. So why we choose 360? 360 means full circle because each segment or each sector going to be apart from a circle, part from circle. So part from 360 degree. Our lesson will going to be divided into two parts, drawing bar chart and reading data from the pie chart. Let me start by the first part of our lesson, which is drawing a pie chart using the following uh, video. If you can't view the following video from the entire PowerPoint presentation, you can easily copy the link to your YouTube page and view it easily. Good luck. Hello, we're going to do a maps cast now on how to draw a pie chart. So, let's have a look at a question. The question says, the table shows 18 people's favourite colour. Display the information as a pie chart. So we have our table here, and the favourite colours are red, and there's three people that like that. Blue, and there's four people that like that. Green, and there's six people that like that. And yellow, and there were five people who chose that. So, to draw a pie chart, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to add up how many people we've got. Well, we know what this is going to add up to. Um, if we count this question, this will add up to 18. But let's check anyway. 3 plus 4 is 7. Uh, plus 6 is 13. Plus another 5 gives us a total of 18. So the first thing I do is I add up how many people we've got all together. Now, the next thing we do, a pie chart is a circle, as we have drawn here. And we know that on a pie chart, the total angle will add up to 360 degrees. So we are going to share that 360 degrees by the 18 people in our pie chart. So if we do 360 shared by 18 people, we will get 20 degrees each. So each one of these numbers on frequency, we're going to times by the number we just worked out, 20. So each one of these is times by 20. If I do that, I can have an extra column called angle. So 3 times 20. So the angle for red is 60 degrees. More times 20. The angle for blue will be 80 degrees. 6 times 20. So the angle for green will be 120 degrees. And 5 times 20. The angle for yellow will be 100 degrees. And we can check we've done this right. We know it will add up to 360 if we've done it properly. So let's just check now. 60 add 80 is 100. And 40 add 120. That gives us 260. Add 100. Yep, that adds up to 360 degrees. So we know we're doing it right. So now we've worked out which angle um, they all are. We just need to draw it on a pie chart. So to do that, we're going to need a protractor. Um, the circle, which is drawn for you, will normally have a dot in the middle and a line straight up. If it doesn't, you'll have to draw that line straight up. So we're going to draw the first section for red, and we know we need to draw an angle, which is 60 degrees. So the way we do that, we get our protractor, we put the middle of it in the middle of the circle, and we turn it, so that the zero on the outside of a protractor is on the line that's already there. We go to 60 degrees, put a dot, and then what I'm going to do, using a ruler to get a straight line, join the centre of the circle up with that dot, and the first section is done. This section is for red. So the first section for red is now done. 
So now we need to draw the blue section. So the blue section, you can see we need 80 degree angles. So the way we do that, again, we put our protractor so that the middle of it is on the dot, as I've done there. And this time we turn it so that our zero on the outside is on the line we've just drawn. So it'll look like I've done on the board. And we're trying to draw 80 degrees, so always using the outside numbers. So we're going to go to 80 degrees, which is here. Put a dot, and then using the ruler, I will join that up in the middle. So this next section is for blue. Label that section blue. And we've now done the blue bit. Two more to go. So now we're going to have a go at drawing the section for green. So we know for green we're going to draw a 20 degree angle. So the method's always the same. We put the protractor onto the circle so that the middle's in the middle and we turn it all the way so it's on our newest line we've drawn. So the zero on the outside is on the newest line we've drawn and using the outside numbers we go to 120 degrees which is there. And again using the ruler I'm going to join that up to the centre of the circle and this next section Green. So that means we have one section left which is in yellow. So the last section um, should be 100 degrees. Well, the last section should already be done for us. So this last section is the bit that we've left and that will be the yellow. So we've done it. We've drawn a pie chart with all of that information. So we're going to summarize what we did in the video. Actually, the first thing we have to do is to calculate the angle of each type by dividing the total angle of the circle, which is 360, divided by the whole number of people who took the survey, then multiplying by the frequency of each one to find the angle of each sector. Then we are going to draw a certain circle. We are going to mark the center point and draw a radius of the circle. Then using the protractor, we start drawing the angles of each sector by itself. So as a summary, we're going to repeat the steps in this uh, example. Actually, they ask some people about their favorite movie and the results are written in the following uh, table. Four like comedy, five like action, six like romance, one like drama, for like science fiction. The second thing is to calculate the angles. 4 divided by the total number, which is 20, times 360, the full circle, because it's apart from a circle. So 4 divided by 20 times 360, 5 divided by 20 times 360, 6 divided by 20 times 360, 1 divided by 20 times 360, 4 divided by 20 times 360, we're going to find the number of the angles. So 72, 90, 108, 18, and 72. And the second thing we have to do is to draw the circle and mark the center of the circle and draw a radius. Then using your protractor, put the center of the protractor on the center of the circle and draw the first angle. Then from the end of this angle, you can complete drawing the rest of the angles and the sectors. Actually, to view more examples and more steps, you can use your book to, on pages 295, 296, 97, 98. And all these pages contain an examples of how we can draw a pie chart. When you are ready, you can open 8D and start solving the question. You can answer now question 1, 2, and 3. All the luck. Now we are going to study the second part of our lesson, which is reading data from a given or a drawn pie chart. Look at the following pie chart. Some children were asked to name their favorite flavor of ice cream. The pie chart on the table shows some information about their answers. Vanilla, 12 with 90 degree, mint, unknown number with 45 degree, strawberry, 14 students with unknown num angle of sector, chocolate with unknown number of children, but 120 degree. Actually, the most important and the most easiest thing to find, which is the angle of the strawberry, since we know that it's a full circle, so the angle is 360. So 360 minus the given angles, which is 90 plus 45 plus 120, give 105, which is the angle of the strawberry. 
Then we are going to calculate the number of children for both mint and chocolate. We are going to use what we call it cross method. Actually, in the cross product method, we are going to multiply diagonals. Uh, we are going to multiply the values in the diagonal that contains known values then we are divide the answer by the value in the diagonal that contains the unknown value so in our case the diagonal that contain the known values is 12 and 45 so we are going to multiply these by uh, by itself so 12 by 45 will given a, a value this value we are going to divide it by the value in the other the diagonal which is contain the unknown value so 12 by 45 divided by 90 will give me answer six so six children like men the same procedure we are doing to find how many students like chocolate the same thing we are going to use one of the known values 12 students give 90 degree so how many students like 120 again we are going to multiply the diagonal that contains the known values so 12 times 120 then we are going to divide the answer by the value in the diagonal